Yo, what's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'll be showing you how to get all the current joggers in GTA. Uh, so all of these are pretty simple to do, and before we get into it, please go down below and leave a like if you do enjoy, or if you do find this helpful, and please subscribe if you are new of course. Uh, but anyway, a quick shout out to these people on screen now for commenting, hashtag TJRH on my last video. Also, if you guys are in need of money in GTA 5, be sure to check out Digizani as they do offer cheap, fast and reliable cash and rank services. So if you want this, check out the link in the description and don't forget to use my code TJRH for 5% off your order. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now the first joggers I'll be showing you how to get are going to be the orange and purple joggers. And these are quite simple to get, so all you want to do is open up your pause menu and you want to go to jobs, play jobs. And go Rockstar Created and you want to go down to Versus and start up truck off. And then in this menu, go down to Clothing and set it to Themed. Then you want to invite anyone and start this up. Now once you load into this menu, you want to go on Versus Outfits and set it to Insects. Now if you're on this team you will get the purple joggers, however if you want the orange joggers just go on the other team and then ready up. And then once you load in you want to move out of the way of the road so you do not get ran over. And then once you're out of the way of the road all you want to do is open up your interaction menu and you want to go to style and then hover over helmet visor and you want to switch between visor up and down for at least 30 seconds once you've done that for at least 30 seconds all you want to do is go afk until you get kicked from the mission and you can do this quicker on xbox by opening up your home menu uh, and i'm sure there's a way for ps4 Now once you've been kicked you want to wait on the alert for a few seconds and then accept it. Now you should spawn in with the outfit from the mission so all you want to do from here is go to any clothing store. And once you're here inside your clothing store all you want to do uh, is you want to make sure you take off the mask before you save the outfit and then feel free to change the top and the shoes. And remember if you guys want the orange joggers all you'll have to do is do the same thing again however change teams and be on the team with the orange joggers. Anyway that's the purple joggers and the orange joggers done now we're going to move on to the next ones. So these next joggers are going to be how to get the black and red joggers and you will need an MOC so go inside your MOC and then you want to head over to the computer over at the back of the MOC and then on this you want to start the mission called work dispute which should be at the bottom and you can unlock this by doing the missions before and then once you load in set the difficulty to easy and then invite anyone and start this up so if you want the black joggers you'll need to be the host which is what I'm doing however if you want the red ones you will need to be the person to join so uh, you'll need your friend or someone else to, uh, to start this mission and you will need to join. And then once you load in exit the plane and you will need to know where one of your apartments is as it will not show up on the map and then you want to go to your apartment. Once you're here, stand on the blue circle and then you want to throw sticky bombs on the floor and blow them up. And then once you spawn back in, it should let you go inside of your apartment and then you want to go down to your wardrobe and save this outfit in your wardrobe. Shoot, 
And then once you have saved the outfit, all you want to do is quit a job by using your phone. Now, once you've spawned in, you should be able to equip the outfit using your interaction menu. And if you want to, you can go to a clothing store and remove the shoes and the top and leave just the joggers. And that's how you get these joggers and remember if you wanted the red ones all you'd have to do is join the mission and everything in the mission uh, will be the same with the red ones now these next joggers are going to be the easiest ones in this video and it is going to be the tan joggers so uh, all you need to do is come to this clothing store uh, so make sure it's this one and you will need to open up your interaction menu and make sure your spawn location is set to last location then you want to go up to hide options and go on jobs set it to custom so this should make a set of blue jobs appear on the map and there should be one right out the front of this clothing store but anyway for me register as a ceo and then you want to go on ceo management and go on style then equip the warlord outfit and this should have the tan joggers so all you want to do is go in the blue circle and start up the mission in the blue circle then in this menu you want to start it up Now, in this first screen, you want to click confirm and continue. However, in the second one, wait a few seconds and then you want to quit. And you just spawn in with your normal outfit on. So from here, you want to go into the clothing store and go into uh, this menu here. Now, wait on this menu until you get kicked off of the menu. And you should get kicked and you should equip the wall of the outfit once again. And all you want to do from here is retire from your CEO. And then you can go and save this outfit and customize it as much as you want to. So if you want to, remove the shoes and change the top. And that's how you get these tan joggers. And now we're going to move on to uh, the last of the joggers. Now, unfortunately for the last of the joggers, it does require the transfer glitch, which deletes all your saved outfits, except for one. And only one annoying thing with these, we can no longer get the real OG joggers as it is no longer the direct mode glitch as seen as it's been patched. So we can't get them, otherwise if we could I would show you. Uh, but unfortunately these are going to be the cargo joggers uh, which look pretty much the same and there's even more colours so that's one plus. And before doing this make sure you have some money in your bank so it transfers over to your female character. But from here equip the outfit you would like to keep as this does delete all your saved outfits uh, like I said. And you can either delete them all yourself or by doing a glitch they will get deleted either way. Anyway from here open up your pause menu and you want to go to online swap character. And by the way for this glitch to work you will need your main character to be in slot 1 and it will need to be a male or else this will not work for you. And I'll make a new female character in slot 2. Also, make sure you accept this alert. And then once you load into this menu, you want to make a new, uh, make sure it is a female. And then hit save and continue, name it anything. And once you take the picture, you should load into a public session. And then once you load in, make sure you enable passive mode so no one can mess you up uh, whilst you are doing a glitch. And then open up your map and you want to see if you have any clothing stores. And if you do, go to one, but if you do not, find a new session and they will appear. Now, once you made it to a clothing store, go inside. And you want to go to the accessories menu over at the back of the store. Then you want to remove any accessories that come with your outfit. So most standard outfits come with earrings. Uh, make sure you take those off. Then you want to go down to gloves and equip the black woolen gloves. Then after you equip these go over to shoes. And on shoes I'll put a list up on screen now as these are going to be the shoes. That will be with whatever joggers uh, you equip forever. And the list is what shoes on the female equal which shoes on the male. And I'm going to be equipping the white racing suit shoes so uh, on the female. All you have to do for those is go on boots and equip the crimson cowboy boots. And these will equal the white racing suit shoes on the male. Anyway once you've equipped your choice of shoes uh, you want to go over to pants. And on this menu go on sports pants and equip the first ones. These should be the spotted muscle pants. Then after you equip these, go on tops. 
and on this menu go down to bikinis and equip the black bikini which should be number 27 yeah so equip these and then you want to go save this outfit at the front desk and save this to slot number 2 and after you've saved this you want to take the easy way out using your interaction menu and this forces the game to save and once you spawn out for you want to open up your uh, pause menu and go to online and start up creator then in this menu go down to create a race and you want to make a new land race Now, once you load in, fill in the race details, so fill in the title, description, and photo, and those do not matter, so they can be anything. However, this part here does matter, so you want to set a maximum players to 3, and set a route type to point to point. And if you want to make this process a little bit quicker, uh, you can choose a supercar. Now, you want to walk to the airport. And place this trigger anywhere, it doesn't really matter. And take a photo of anything for the lobby camera. Now this part here is important, so you want to place checkpoints until the race is at least one mile long. As if it isn't, it will not allow you to test it. Now test the race. And once you finish, you should get this alert, so accept this alert. And then you want to open up your pause menu, and go to online, choose character. Now in this, you want to delete your female character. Now this part is important so you want to make sure you return to story mode, so that's B for Xbox or Circle for PS4. And once you load into story mode start up a new online invite only session. And you just spawn in with the outfit you chose to keep earlier. And all you want to do is go into a clothing store and save this outfit. Now make sure you do not save this outfit in slot 1. So you want to save it anywhere above the outfit we saved on the female. So just make sure you do not save it in slot 1. And all you want to do from here is go on to pants. Now on this go down to cargo pants. And equip whichever colour you want for the first one. And don't worry, we can do this over and over again for every colour, and you can then have every colour jogger. And don't worry, they do not look like joggers right now, however, uh, when we do the glitch, they will turn into joggers. Anyway, once you've chosen the colour you want first, all you want to do is go up to shoes, and go on boots. Now, equip any boots that tuck the joggers, well, that tuck the pants into the boots. So, just like this, equip any one of these boots. And by the way, you will also need an earpiece for this next bit, uh, but do not equip it just yet. And if you do not have one, you can purchase one from any ammunition store on the gear section. Anyway, once you have one, but do not equip it, uh, you want to open up your pause menu. And go to online, go on jobs, play jobs. Now go on Rockstar Creative, and you want to go versus and start up Crooked Cop. Now in this menu, set a clothing to player owned. And then invite anyone to start this up. And this is what you'll need to do for each one of the joggers every time you do this. And then once you load into this menu, go down to owned outfit and scroll one to the right. And don't worry about the top, it will turn into a normal t-shirt later. Now ready up. And then once you load in, equip your earpiece. And after you've done so, you will need to go to a clothing store in the mission so you spawn closer when you quit the mission.
and once you're down here make sure your earpiece is still equipped and then quit the job by using your phone. And once you spawn in go over to the clothing store. And in it just go save the outfit and of course you can change the top and uh, the only thing you cannot change is the shoes. And again if you want to keep doing this to get all the coloured joggers make sure you do not save any of them in slot 1. And if you want to keep getting the other colours just do the same again uh, but with each colour. So I'll show you once more. Uh, all you want to do is go on pants and go on cargo pants and equip any colour you want to. Then go over to shoes and go on boots and equip any ones that tuck the uh, pants into the boots. And then from here start up crooked cop. Then send the clothing to player owned and invite anyone to start this up. And now in this menu get on to owned outfit and scroll one to the right. And then just ready up. And once you load in, equip your earpiece. And go to the clothing store in the mission. And once you are here, you want to make sure your earpiece is still equipped and then quit the job by using your phone. Now, once you spawn in, go to the clothing store. And in the clothing store, save this outfit. And again, if you want to keep doing this to get all the coloured joggers, make sure you do not save any of them in slot 1. Anyway, feel free to do this with all the colours if you want to. And that's how to get all the current joggers in GTA. And if there was a direct mode glitch out, I would show you how to get all the OG joggers. However, currently we cannot get any of those. But anyway, hopefully you still enjoyed and hopefully you did find this helpful. But thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day or night. And I will see you all in the next one.